Grasslands and savannas are home to the most spectacular gatherings of the biggest herds on Earth. They host huge diversity of plants, as many as 300 species in a single meadow. They store vast amounts of carbon and help mitigate against the climate crisis. They provide livelihoods to pastoralist communities, many of whom have no other ways of supporting themselves. Once, they covered a quarter of the Earth's surface. But we have lost more than 50% of some of the biggest grasslands and savannas. The leading causes for their conversion and degradation are expanding cropland to grow food and fuel, fencing pasture for domesticated animals, commercial tree plantations, and unsustainable grazing practices. The first blades of grass started to sprout about 30 million years ago. In co-evolution, a truly cosmopolitan biome brought with it large herds of specially adapted mammals that grazed on these grasses. As humans migrated around the world, they also moved these animals and began to convert pristine nature to suit them shaping grasses into crops. We have planted huge monocultures of these crops in place of natural grasses and have drained wetlands, cut down forests, and diverted entire rivers to grow ever more food, animal feed, and fuel. Now, livestock make up 93% of all mammals on Earth, and humans are 10 times more prolific than all wild mammals combined. By pursuing our own development, we have almost erased the natural world. How exactly do we stop the destruction of grasslands and all the wild things they support? We must adopt nature-positive practices which optimize food yields without converting or degrading grasslands. For instance, by agroecological practices on existing farmland, like reducing tillage and using deep-rooted crops to maintain soil health, and by sustainably managing livestock in natural grasslands. We must work directly with local communities and governments to protect natural ecosystems improve management, and restore grasslands. By treating our grasslands and savannas respectfully, we can protect and restore these wonderful lands. More of the original wilderness will return, biodiversity will increase, ecosystem function will be fulfilled, and livelihoods will be improved. It is our duty to conserve what is left and recover what has been destroyed. <laughs>